Okay, the saints are super cool, especially when they talk about prayer, because you're just like, I didn't even know that was a thing that I didn't know about prayer. Now I know it. That's awesome. St. Catherine of Siena had this awesome image of just as a fish is in the sea and completely immersed in it, so is my soul in God and God is in my soul. As Christians, we are not pantheists. We don't believe that um, your God is in everything. We do believe that. But we don't believe that everything is God. God also transcends what he's created. Um, and as Christians, we are, our view on life after death is not that we lose our individuality and we become united to, you know, oneness or the universe or whatever it is. That's more of like, I'd say like a Hindu or Buddhist view. We do believe that we are united to God but we retain our individuality in that union. St. Catherine of Siena's image really illustrates that because, so the fish is in the water, the fish is in the sea, so the soul is in God. God is supporting the soul, sustaining the soul. Fish like breathe through the water, like through the gills. So God is in the fish. But the, despite that union, the fish is still not the sea. These are separate. These are separate things. Another image, and I don't know the original uh, one of it, but John of the Cross loves this image where God is fire and we are a log. And as the log stays in the fire, the log gets lit on fire, but the log is still not fire. So though we are united to God, we become more like him, we still are not him. Or another slight twist on that analogy, it could be like a piece of metal that you stick in a fire, but as the metal is in the fire longer, it heats up, it becomes red, it's more like the fire, but still is not the fire. Or to use a biblical image, Jesus says, I am the vine, you are the branches. Apart from me, you can do nothing. It's in John chapter 15, if you ever want to look that up. If the branch is not part of the vine, the branch dies. I actually had a reflection on this with uh, with Baby Groot. Um, this would have been, I think, last year. So look up what Baby Groot taught me about the vine and the branches. Um, because as part of the, the, the branches, like we can cut ourselves off. So I imagine just like a baby Groot attached to this tree, like cutting himself off and dying. And that's us, but like Jesus is merciful and he can you know, scoop us back up and we can reattach. It was one of the more fun videos I've made, I think. So with the vine and the branches, it's the life of the vine that's in us that actually gives us life, which is what we should be doing when we pray, letting God's life come in us, being immersed in him. Like the fish in the sea, we're fully immersed in God, though we are still distinct. That's really all I've got. I just want, I thought it was a kind of cool reflection, so I figured I'd share it with you guys. If you want more videos like this of like just random thoughts I have about prayer things or something I read, comment below saying yes, I want more videos like this. If not, like then I won't make a, a lot more. I may still, but anyway, PS, be a hero today.